Hi there everyone, welcome once again to the Train Aid HQ. My name is Nick and in today's video we are going to be looking at the Level 4 Certificate in Education and Training and we are going to be looking at Criteria 10. Criteria 10 is communication with colleagues, for example email, uh, minutes of a meeting and we are going to be looking at what criteria is needed for this section of the course. If you haven't already done so, please like the video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive the latest updates from the team. In regards to criteria 10, we are looking for you to submit a minimum of five examples of communication with colleagues. This could be uh, five emails, it could be uh, minutes of a meeting, any meeting agendas, and also details of any training days, inset days, and also CPD events that you are signed up to. Evidence can become uh, obviously promoted within uh, screenshots, and also you can uh, use any recent uh, emails or um, minutes of a meeting that you have conducted uh, with your team of colleagues as well. So we're looking for a minimum of five examples where you've collaborated with staff members, for example, and you're just proving to us that you can, of course, communicate uh, in collaboration with a team of trainers uh, or teachers, okay? Uh, one key factor here, any sensitive information can be blanked out from view, okay? We're not uh, looking to see uh, any sensitive information, so please do blank that out. But we, what we are looking to see is that, of course, you can collaborate uh, with a team of teachers. Um, but why communication? Why is that so vital? for teachers and trainers. So in terms of teachers, we uh, do communicate with a range of people, being learners, parents, and also colleagues, okay? We, of course, need to collaborate. We can obviously share um, updates about learners, okay? What's going well, okay? What improvements can be made? And also we're accountable to the organization and results for that matter as well. So clear communication, being honest, is absolutely vital as a teacher. In regards to the different styles of communication, of course, we have written uh, communication, okay, such as uh, documents, report writing, uh, providing marking to learners is absolutely key, okay, so we do this uh, written, uh, online, okay, feedback via emails or perhaps a VLE system as well, okay, and we also have to write, you know, perhaps our own resources such as handouts, okay, and therefore having a good, clear communication style um, is absolutely key. Um, the two other main uh, sources of communication, of course, is verbal, so face-to-face -face, uh, communication uh, to small groups, discussions, live online uh, video uh, tutorials is becoming more prominent now. So, of course, you might have to teach online via Zoom or Teams. So, therefore, uh, being uh, confident with those platforms is absolutely vital as a teacher. And, of course, speaking to learners, parents, colleagues, even on the, on the phone is a very important factor that you will have to uh, contribute, you'll have to um, become more confident at as a teacher as well. The final one is nonverbal. Um, so having a positive uh, body language is going to help your learners to show that you are engaged, okay? Uh, having good body contact posture, um, being warm, friendly, okay? Having clear eye contact as well gives lots of reassurance to learners and also your colleagues as well. Just within the textbook, have a, a read of pages 144 to 115 to find out a little bit more about communication and the three different styles there. But in regards to what evidence is required for your level four uh, portfolio, we are looking uh, for you to prove to us that you can communicate with a range of different teachers, trainers, staff members, or colleagues. So we're looking for you to submit a minimum of five examples of communication. So these could be screenshots to colleagues. These could be perhaps minutes of a meeting that you have uh, chaired or delivered or been a part of, for example. So any uh, meeting minutes, 
agendas. It could be details of any CPD that you've attended. So you've perhaps emailed a manager to say, I would like to attend this CPD or inset day. Is that okay? Um, so we're just looking uh, to see how you uh, obviously conduct yourself um, in, in your communication with colleagues as well. Behind me, we just have an example uh, of an email that I've sent uh, to one of my colleagues. And this is an example here of the type of evidence that we are looking for. So simply five uh, screenshots um, of emails will meet this criteria. Alternatively, you can of course submit a range of different examples um, of um, evidence of communication. So you could perhaps submit uh, an agenda, um, any um, standardization activities that you've been a part of, um, any inset day information. So of course, uh, you can submit uh, screenshots, PDFs, these could be messages on perhaps a mobile phone device, that's okay. Um, so we're looking for five uh, minimum um, examples there. But as I mentioned, five uh, emails to colleagues alone will be absolutely fine here to meet this criteria. So thank you very much for watching um, this uh, short video on communication. Hopefully you uh, have uh, have some now some ideas on what to put into your level four teaching portfolio. If you do have any questions, please do email uh, the marking team or alternatively give us a call and we can have a chat about this criteria. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to receive the latest updates and alerts from the team. Bye for now.